This is a Marin San Quentin one. This is a new model for 2021 from Marin Bikes. It is the first price point of a three model lineup of San Quentins. This one is $11.99 and I'm going to show you some of the specifications. We'll talk about geometry and who this is good for. So to start with, we have V-Tire Flow Snap Tires, 27.5 by 2.6. Although I have, they call it a 2.6, I have measured those tires. They measure more like about a 2.4 inch wide uh, sort of a width. But that's not an uncommon thing that the actual width doesn't match up with the specified width. This is one of the upgrades that we're most excited about for this year. This is the MicroShift Advent 9-speed derailleur with a clutch. It allows for gearing of 11 to 46 gears at an 1199 bike. Last year's version of this bike, I think, had an 1136 cassette um, using a Shimano system. We're now Keeping the price similar, $11.99 and an $11.46 with a clutch. So this would be uh, similar in feature to a Shimano Dior drivetrain. It's got a really strong clutch. That is the thing that makes that spring um, really stiff. That controls the chain from bouncing around, which in turn means that you're not going to bounce your chain off those front chain rings when you're riding through bumpy terrain. So as mentioned with the tires, this is a 27.5 bike. It's designed to be an aggressive hardtail. That means both the geometry and the construction are gonna be able to take a little bit more abuse than a traditional price point hardtail. We have narrow wide chain ring on there. Um, pretty simple looking cranks. They are on a square taper bottom bracket, so don't get carried away jumping to flat on this thing because square taper bottom brackets are not known for being the toughest thing ever for not rounding out cranks. We have some beautiful welds on here. A quick release seat clamp. So you'll be able to lower that seat if needed. If you go to the local pump track, a nice saddle, room for a water bottle, upgradeability with a, an empty port there. That allows for internal cable routing so that seat post that we have, that's a 30.9 diameter seat post, which makes it a really easy, um, relatively inexpensive upgrade to put a dropper seat post on here. It would be pretty typical that you'd spend about 300 bucks um, putting on an internally rooted dropper post onto a bike like this. We have a Suntour XCM32 fork with a bolt through, through axle, so that's going to mean your front hub is quite strong. You have precise steering because your front end isn't going to flex. I should point out there is a warning on here that's saying don't use this as an actual dirt jumper or free ride fork. So when we're talking about aggressive or being able to jump, uh, it means you're not going to get carried away on this thing. I do firmly believe this is a stronger fork than what you see on a lot of bikes at this price point, but it's not an actual dirt jumper or free ride fork. It has a lockout on it. It's a coil sprung fork. So we have a rebound knob there. Those tend not to make a huge amount of difference. So don't think that you're gonna be able to make that into a plush fork. It isn't plush. It's a pretty stiff fork. It's gonna to cater to either um, pumping around a pump track and not being too squishy or for a little bit of a heavier rider or just basically somebody who's not expecting it to be the plushest, softest fork ever. That's just showing that Nice tread pattern on the flow snap tire. We have Tektro hydraulic disc brakes, that micro shift shifter, 
These will work like a SRAM shifter, so you have two paddles, both are a push with your thumb. A 45 millimeter long Marin stem. Marin handlebars, and these measure 780 millimeters wide. They have a pretty nice um, sweep and rise to them. Tectro rotor to go with the Tectro brake. This is where that internal dropper cable would come out and then go back into the, the seat tube. Once again, look at those nice welds. So this is a quick release rear axle on here. Once you step up to the San Quentin 2, two of the most noticeable upgrades on that bike at $17.99 are that you get into a dropper seat post as a stock item and you get into a through axle frame which makes for quite a bit stronger and stiffer rear end on the frame. So this bike here is 34 and a half pounds as we see it. So it's not the lightest thing in the world. Um, as mentioned though, that is because it's built to be tough, durable. That fork is probably heavy. The frame, not super heavy because it is a nice quality aluminum frame. Um, but this isn't the lightest thing in the world, but it's tough. Geometry on this bike, that is a 65 degree head tube angle. So that means it's pretty slack. That means that uh, if you're doing some steeper descending or some higher speed riding, that's going to be a little bit more stable than a lot of the other offerings in this sort of price point. A 75 degree seat tube angle is a little bit steeper than what we will typically see on price point hardtails. So that's gonna make this bike actually climb relatively well even though it is heavy and has that slack head tube angle. So it is taking a lot of inspiration from what we're seeing on much more expensive bikes as far as the geometry goes. It's not the longest fitting bike ever. So I would suggest um, getting to try one of these out or I'll give you a quick idea here of um, the way we will typically size these. 5.1 to 5.4 is a size small, 5.4 to 5.8, size medium, 5.8 to 5.11 is a size large, and 5.11 to about 6 foot 2, maybe 6 foot 3 is an extra large. Now one of the things I would personally upgrade on this bike are these plastic pedals here. I would put something on that has uh, sealed bearings and steel pins for traction. These are an okay pedal, but we pretty much consider them to be test rider pedals. Um, given a few weeks of rugged use, you'll probably notice that your feet slip off a couple times and maybe those bearings start to develop some play. They really don't intend for those to be a long time kind of a purchase. So I would upgrade those. I would probably look to change out these grips to something um, that's a lock-on grip. That means that you'd be able to run these brake levers inboard a little bit on the, le on the handlebars, which will mean one finger braking will be a little bit easier and your grips aren't going to slide around. As mentioned, you can put a dropper post on this bike. Um, which could make it that much more capable for actual off-road riding or make it easier to go to the local pump track um, and play around a little bit more on this. This bike was co-developed, Marin and Matt Jones, so it does take uh, some design elements from a dirt jumping bike to make it as nimble as possible while still making it a really fun daily rider for mountain bike trails or around town, what have you. If you're a 
youthful rider who wants to have a lot of fun, this would work out well. If you're an aggressive rider, um, but you've never really gotten into uh, a higher end bike, this could be a good step into some better quality stuff. I would say this bike does perform a little bit beyond its price range and it's largely because of its geometry and that really, really good um, micro shift advent drivetrain. We installed a number of these on bikes last year as an upgrade and we were very pleasantly surprised by the quality of shifting um, and just how much additional gear range that gives you. Um, to give some perspective, an 1146 gear range only became available on stuff like Shimano SLX, I think four years ago. Um, so we're now seeing what was on sort of a one down from, or a couple down from top of the line uh, Shimano stuff happening on a $1,200 bike. Um, really quite impressive and it makes for a full gear range on a price point bike without having a front derailleur um, while having reduced likelihood of your chain bouncing off uh, when you're going through bumpy, rooty, rocky terrain. So if you like this kind of content, please push that thumbs up button, subscribe. If you're interested in buying a bike and you're in Canada, we're in Cochrane, Alberta. You can find our website at www.bikebros.ca. We are retailers of Marin and big fans of Marin. We also sell Giant, Rocky Mountain, Pivot, and Noli. And we look forward from hearing you, hearing from you. Thank you.